स्टूडेंट्स ज्यूरिंग लास्ट मॉड्यूल वी टॉक्ट अबाउट मैनी लाइब्रेरीज लाइक दिस साइंटिफिक नोमेरिकल एंड यू नो विजुअलाइजेशन लाइब्रेरीज नो आई विल टेक यू थ्रू वन बाई वन लाइक आई टेक अ हाई लेवल ओवर व्यू ऑफ डिफरेंट लाइब्रेरीज विच यू विल बी यूजिंग इन योर डेटा साइंस जर्नी एंड द फर्स्ट वन इज साई पाई साई पाई एज द नेम से जस्ट दिस इज साइंटिफिक पाइथॉन तो साई पाई विल बी यूज फॉर योर scientific calculations and so many other situations where you will be able to use it so scipy is basically you know for your uh, statistical modeling for your application of algebra and different scientific formulas wherever you will have to use some uh, you know statistical models you will be using scipy so scipy as we say this is scipy is basically using numpy at the back end as i mentioned earlier all these libraries most of them they are inspired by one like every library they have certain limitations or some advantages so once someone started using a library suppose if someone has used numpy then they realize there are certain limitations with the numpy so they introduce scipy so this is how from one library the uh, next library or another library or another set of you know tools has been created so scipy is fundamentally working on top of numpy as i was just saying so this uh, particular library is used for optimization optimization means when we are like you know sup uh, suppose we are training over data or we are testing different statistical models and we select which one is the best fit so that is optimization इसको आप इस तरह से भी समझ सकते हैं कि अगर आप कोई प्लान करते हैं एक रूट इफ यू रिमेंबर इन स्टैटिस्टिकल इन्फ्रेंस वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द जर्नी प्लानिंग राइट द रूट ऑप्टिमाइजेशन सो वन मॉडल सजेस्ट यू और वन कैलकुलेशन और वन सेट ऑफ डेटा सजेस्ट ओके यू शुड गो एट दिस टाइम फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टू बी एन अदर मॉडल सजेस्ट समथिंग डिफरेंट and eventually with your judgment or with the help of uh, you know artificial intelligence one can decide which model is the most or the best fit so that is what uh, optimization is so then you know there is linear algebra integration these are all whoever has studied uh, i'm sure if you have not studied mathematics you can go through and these are very basic or you know entry level like at your undergrad level you must be studying some mathematic courses as well along with statistics or maybe in statistics so there you will you know like the calculus algebra geometry trigonometry all these things you will touch whatever is required or the basic knowledge of all these you know calculus uh, methods or the statistical methods or mathematical method whatever you will be using Uh, and again it is a learning curve you start with 1 2 3 and keep on learning so this is how you will develop your you know skills in mathematics and statistics and, and of course the other areas which are required for the uh, career of a data scientist interpolation again this is again a sp uh, specific uh, a specific st uh, mathematical method then special functions these are again you know as i shared with you while we were talking about or uh, going through sql all these uh, sql databases they have so many functions available most of your statistical functions or your uh, arithmetic functions they are built in, uh, in 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 your databases so you should not really worry about uh, these uh, functions similarly other common tasks required for the scientific and engineering li like you know where you have to do something iterative one by one or diff different uh, and it will again depend on your project and the nature of the data and the na nature of organization where you are working but these are most of the things which you will be normally handling through your uh, you know scipy library so with this you can you know there are different situations like k means or the conversion factors or the algorithm transform algorithms your discrete transformations numerical integrations interpolation tools so there are basically sub package or as i said you can call them objects or a library within a library so within scipy there are certain built in 
objects or the features which you can call basically they work in a way that during course of your you know course uh, code development when you write a code suppose you are on a certain line of your code here you can call any function any you know sub function or a library or something like this so th this is how it works right then again uh, some of the other functions io line selenius all these are basically different functions which you will be using again at different you know uh, situations as i mentioned you you don't have to learn all these features uh, by heart right like this one is orthogonal distance regression classes and algorithms so regression you know we have studied what is regression we know what are different algorithms where we can be measuring or applying regression model and things like this so various functions for multi dimensional image processing so this one will will be used for the image processing so we know that image processing is something totally different from where we are uh, you know analyzing your text or processing text or the other you know like json and xml data the image processing is totally different so there are special features available for image processing in your scipy library and then there is another library called pytorch it has also similar functions uh, which you can use signal sparse parsing and you know is something very very important in this then we you know the statistical functions special functions special sparse signals these are basically as i said you don't have to remember all this by heart once you reach in your learning curve on a certain stage then you will be using these functions or the objects one by one so you don't have to worry or remember all these by heart but you should know the most important thing at this point is you should know that scipy is a library which can be used to perform different scientific functions or the methods and that is and then you can go you know when you are suppose working on a project or maybe doing some uh, labs or some exercises then you can refer back to your notes and go through this and see which is more you know suitable for for your uh, your working 